Joe passed on to me the question about the vibes. And I said, this feels vibes. this feels like an Austin Rivers year yep. where everyone's going over there thinking, oh, well, Carolina's going to win the game. I don't game. know that everyone's thinking that. Most people Most are people thinking are. that Carolina's going to win this game, right? And what, what, what did we end up getting that night? We got a classic. We got a great Jones Angel call that night, number one. But just one of the great moments in this. Uh, obviously, we all know where I lie in the triangle. So I'm not always about the, though this game always delivers. I mean, there's times where this game really doesn't deliver, okay? Um, but right. that was one of the nights. Of course, yeah, there are times where it's not. That right. was one of the nights where I went into the game going, well, what's it going to deliver? Like, Carolina's <laughs> going to beat them by 20. And then you well, have hell, this. look at 2022. Yeah. And when Carolina yes, was terrible. And, yes. it's like, and you have this yes. amazing Austin River shot, and you're like, okay. Right. That was the moment for me. It was 11 or 12. That 12. Was the, it was 12. That was the moment for me where I was like, okay. All right, got All it. All right. It this, does. This is a little bit special. that was the special. Kendall Marshall <laughs> breaking wrist season. Yes. And that was when they had, like, really started to play well, too. And so it was like, yeah. It was, like, doubly, I'm sure, painful for that, for that reason so I, I don't know who plays the role of austin rivers for duke in this game jared mccain potentially um but that's well you gotta remember too the part about austin rivers and what made that what it was is that nobody <laughs> liked austin rivers on right. their own I'm team there's still there's still the shot of like i'll never forget the shot of like who was it open and wide open in the corner like he's calling, just them off. looking annoyed at austin already like Even when hello it went yeah like no no he's like they're like looking annoyed because they were like wide open and he's getting ready to jack up a shot and they're like sitting over there like okay <laughs> they were mad at zeller for, for yeah, taking the step back instead of contesting. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so even the Austin Rivers game is funny because you can't get that out of this particular yeah. squad yeah. with with Duke. So I mean, if anything, within Duke circles, the only person that brings out any sort of ire is Ryan Young, because Ryan Young is like the classic Roy Williams. Why does this guy keep getting minutes? Player like the what? still the Stillman the, White, the poor man's Luke May. Andrew was it uh, Playtech? <laughs> Play tectonics, yes. Yes, play tectonics back in the day. Shout out to uh, to Bert. So I uh, that, that that's who Ryan Young is for Duke fans at this point. Like, I don't know like, if why, I have an like, analogy for have... him. Like a wide body dude that you put in to get a couple rebounds, give you some fouls, and you don't want in all the time. But Ryan Fat, fat Chef. Ryan looks. Ryan, yeah, that's Ryan actually Young. better. I think that's the better one. Ryan Young <laughs> is, is it even that? Ryan Young just looks like a guy they pulled from the Fuqua School of Business Listen, or from the Ryan Law School Young, League. Oh, from the Law League. Yeah, he will dominate. His oh, law he's going to dominate the Ryan Law League. Ryan Young has like the body closer to people our age, which yes. we can appreciate. So yes. he goes on my like favorite like. <laughs> ACC all he's body a, team. Hey, he's a list. podcaster just like us. And I was going to say, he's a better podcaster. <laughs> With Ian Shefflin <laughs> and D- DJ Burns. Take oh, a shot at yeah, No, no, no. The brown liquor is. Woo. All right. Woo. There, I was We're listening to. Shefflin, not I, I was listening to. Uh, I was listening to the Ion College Basketball Podcast with Matt Norlander and Gary Parrish yesterday when I was going on a stupid walk for my stupid mental health. And... <laughs> Well, it's, it's going great. It's going wonderfully. <laughs> and they were talking about they were talking about all the upsets that have happened this year. Sure. Uh, I think like, I wish you would use air quotes. Wait, but other ahead. teams have been upset well, in other leagues? That's weird. Well, I wasn't I'm, told. I was told this. <laughs> I'm actually glad you brought it up in the context of the air quotes because both Gary and Matt were reading off stats about the number of upsets yeah. in number only. And as I was listening to them, I could, I didn't know if your ears were ringing, if you felt like a tingle going up your leg, because essentially what they were saying, well, with offensive efficiency being as high as it's ever been, yeah, and the fact that you have transfer portals and guys fluctuate all over the place, that there's not that much difference between as what did you put it yesterday? Teams four through one eighty four, yeah. right? I would and, agree with that. And that's kind of where they're at. Where's that's the true. Game it's not true every year, but it, I think it is yeah. probably true, honestly, more years than it is. Where's the game played? Who do you play next? Yes. Did your girlfriend just dump you? Exactly. You know, People like all don't of these things. understand that stuff. It drives me nuts. I am on my soapbox about this all the time. I'm like, college basketball is unique in that way. It is not like the NBA. It is not like almost any. It's not even like college football in that who's supposed to win usually does. That's not how it works. So when they're talking about this and the number of games that have gone this way, it may Made me reassess my overall view of North Carolina and Duke going into the game, and I don't know if it's if it's pushback from a lot of the mentions we've gotten from Carolina fans who keep using the word elite with this North Carolina squad. I don't know if North Carolina is elite. 
they're just really good at doing what Hubert Davis wants them to do. Does that make them an elite level squad? I don't know. Then I mean, we're going to get into the minutia of elite and right. it becomes like a like it, bang your head be, on the table they could situation. Be elite relative to this field. Yes. Right. That, okay. If that's what you want to talk about, if you want to tell me that North Car the people who wrote off North, North Carolina after losses to Kentucky and UConn earlier in the year and then watch this team and what they're doing right now, well, then you're an idiot if you write this North Carolina squad off. Because, like I said, they do exactly what Hubert Davis wants them to do. They play with a level of urgency and effort on defense, which a lot of teams won't. That's, that's been Josh that's Shire's been, yeah. biggest problem with Duke yeah. on a consistency level. Yeah. So I'm going to take Carolina's chances more often than not. Defense travels. It does. It, it, just like um, just like San Diego Charger fans at Bank of America Stadium. And we're Packers fans. I was like, what? We're Detroit Lions that's fans. That's a bad example. We're all the fans that ever show up to Bank Steelers. of America. Steelers fans. That's who you're thinking of. So The ones who live here, yes. But I mean, with, so did the Jets fans and the but Buffalo. With, but with Duke, yeah. With Duke, when you look relative to the field, are they what you thought they were in the preseason? No. But are they one of the top teams in the country? Yes. And if they actually that's can keep what the, I thought they'd be in the preseason is pretty much what they are right now. If they which can is keep great. bodies on the court, yeah. well then, yeah, I, it wouldn't surprise me. In a, in a weird way, Duke's hope is that Proctor can not yes. not only do what he did last year, yeah, but he almost has to become Brady Manic. Right, yeah. like Carolina went through all of this stuff, as you say, you can write a team off for losing mm -hmm. to Kentucky by a hundred that year, or Tennessee by a hundred that year, but you don't know what their path is going to be, right? And you don't know how they're going to play in the last two months of the year. Yeah, like, no, for sure. You know what I mean, I did tell you what was it like last week or two weeks ago, maybe. I was like, I think Duke is like coming into form yeah. right now, and you yeah. were like, mm, I'm not sure yet. Proctor look good on Monday, but uh, yeah, to yeah. Me. And now, I, to be yeah. fair, Clemson game they didn't look great for a lot of that. They I will lost. say, but they, they found, but game. they did. Like that's the thing. This year, what has surprised me about Duke is that they have not always been able to like make the Duke plays right, like to win those close games. That close, I, I know what you're gonna say, but they also like the winning got plays. steals right. Yes, they they're just not able to like you keep waiting for it because that's what Duke always does. Like. Well, these close games point, they have, you're like, wait, they're going to make a run, and they don't. To your point about the steals, right? Like, what, McCain had three or four straight steals Did on Clemson. Did Clemson also collapse? Like, yeah, yes, they collapsed of course they did. But the way they That's turned around... what Clemson does. The no way offense. they turned around from Saturday to Monday at Virginia Tech yeah. against against Mike Young, Gilio's yeah, boy. Yeah, I was impressed with With that. having everybody on the court, it did make me go, okay, maybe they are finally coming into form. Yeah. And depending on how the game goes on Saturday... I might if they lose on Saturday, but it's a competitive game. I'm not going to change my opinion. It's at the Smith Center. Carolina's good. Yeah, I don't think Any I'm going to like I'm not gonna, change no. my opinion a ton on either of them. Quite mm -hmm. frankly, unless like someone absolutely destroys the other, which I don't necessarily I don't see, see happening. I don't see that happening. I don't no, see that happening. I really don't either. It's, I mean, I guess if Carolina plays like it did for a lot of the Florida State and Georgia Tech games, that mm -hmm. could happen. Just saying. <laughs> like they didn't play very well in those games. And that I think is what See, I think Florida State's a good team. I'm not saying you know? they're not. I'm just talking strictly more like about what Carolina did. Yeah. And they didn't play smart. They didn't, you know, they I, they played good defense, I think, in, in at least in the Florida State game. Georgia Tech game, they they gave up even more open threes than Georgia Tech hit. Yeah. Like I was mm -hmm. like, I mean, he should hit that. He's wide open. Yeah. Like, sorry. Yeah. But I mean, at the same time, like they just have been too turnover prone. They're not getting the ball inside the way they were. It's more on the offensive end that I have concerns and teams are going to try to take them out of transition. Obviously, Duke's going to prioritize that. So they need to figure something out in the half court. They need to be smarter. They say Ingram and Ryan cannot play like they did against Georgia Tech. They were not good enough in that game. Who's the freshman who shows up on Saturday night? Either side. When you and, and it clicks in your head, you're like, "Oh yeah, this is the game that they've been waiting all year for." Feels like Proctor. Proctor, but Sophomore, it's always but. the thing is in this game, it's always someone like you're like, "What? Who? Him?" There's always at least one dude that has like a random like was great game out of nowhere. T.J. Power, maybe that's who it is. Maybe Sean it's, Stewart. Maybe Cormac Ryan. <laughs> maybe. I've seen some Tar Heel faithful turning on. I don't get that. Know. Just for one that. game, Jeez. It's just one game. Come on now. Oh, yeah. I'm on my best behavior. Yeah, Why are you on your best behavior? What's he didn't play well, but like, that was behavior. just one game. Like, you, who you knows? You want Monsanto instead? <laughs> <laughs>